Hey guys, today I'm going to explain a short film from Japan named The Dolls with Attitude. The film begins with a teenage girl named Eri. She was having some coffee with her friends at a well-known cafe in Japan. Eri was confused why her friends didn't notice the change on her face. She then tried to ask her friends if there was something strange about her. But her friends replied with her looking the same as usual. Eri, who wasn't satisfied with the answer, tried to ask again if there was something strange about her smile. However, her friends replied with the same thing, that there was nothing unusual about her smile. They then continued to talk about other things and ignore her. When Eri heard the next answer from her friends, she wondered why no one noticed anything about her face, which had turned into a doll with a wide smile. In fact, this oddity began when she was still in elementary school. One day, her brother had accidentally broken a small aquarium containing Eri's favorite fish. Despite the fact that her heart was broken as a result of the incident, she didn't want to make her brother feel guilty, so she simply smiled and pretended it wasn't a big deal. But behind her white smile, Eri actually had to endure a very deep pain over the death of her beloved fish. Since that incident, Eri started to believe that just smiling will fix all of her problems. Throughout the years, she kept smiling and hiding her sadness every time she got into trouble. People also think that Eri is a very kind woman and always willing to forgive. But Eri didn't expect that the smile would actually make her turn into a doll with a permanent smile. Eri was confused as to why no one noticed her changes, despite the fact that her face had turned into a doll. Even her friends thought it was just a matter of course. One day, when Eri was walking in the middle of the city, a man suddenly approached her and expressed his admiration for her unique face and wide smile. The man turned out to be a producer, and he even offered to make Eri an idol. At first, Eri wasn't sure what to do with the offer, but in the end, she decided to accept the offer. After doing a photo shoot, Eri's life started to change, and her face is now displayed on a giant billboard. She also made her first debut with a single untitled smile. It didn't take long for Eri's popularity to spread across various social media platform. Eri's haircut and white smile had become a new trend among teenagers. Even big companies had started to produce a retrainer so that people can imitate Eri's unique smile. She herself never imagined that she would be famous and become an idol for teenagers just because she had an unusual doll face. After some time has passed, Eri's new profession as an idol keeps her so busy that she has never time to meet her friends. Inside the cafe they used to hang out in, Eri saw her friends gathering there. However, since she hasn't talked to her friends for a long time, she feels awkward and decides to sit somewhere else. Eri then tried to send a message to her friend in which she included an offer to hang out together. But Eri's friend refused the offer, claiming that she was too busy working at that time. Plus, her friends also thought that she was doing nothing special. According to her friend, Eri could only smile the whole time and it was a stupid thing that people shouldn't be proud of. Eri who heard it felt very upset but she could only do is smile and endure the pain as she always did. She also hoped that no one of her friends would also turn out to be like her. Since that incident, Eri has been trying to remove the doll mask that has been covering her real face for years. She wanted to prove to the world that it was just a fake smile. Various ways were used by Eri to remove the doll mask, but it was all in vain as it seems that the doll's mask was permanently attached to her face. A sense of regret began to arise in Eri's mind. Maybe this wouldn't have happened to Eri if she hadn't hidden her emotions in the past. Then, Eri got a call from the producer informing her that they got an offer to go on a national tour. Eri, who was supposed to be happy after listening to the offer, instead just sat there speechless. The day came when she was about to appear on a concert during national tour. She suddenly saw a glimpse of her favorite fish, which had died. She then asked the producer to go first and leave her there for a moment. After that, the fish appeared in front of her. Eri tried to apologize because she had chosen to smile rather to cry over the death of her fish. The fish graciously forgave Eri because he actually knew how Eri felt behind the doll's mask. She then asked the fish if she could be her true self. While leaving, the fish told her that she can be herself if she has the courage to destroy all her lies. Eri, who had been filled with confidence, then rushed to the stage and decided to follow the fish's advice. The audience, which had been very excited at first, gradually became silent when they saw Eri just stood silently on the stage holding her mic. Suddenly, Eri started hitting her face with the microphone. It then made the audience start screaming in fear. Eri didn't expect that the real face behind the doll's mask had now disappeared. When Eri was brought backstage, she screamed and told her fans not to lose their identities and to be honest with their own feelings. After two months had passed, Eri has become a different appearance than before. Eri's fake smile is now gone, but her new appearance is admired and imitated by many people. Even the producer praised her previous act and believed that it was a very genius act as it gave a good impact to the company. In the end, Eri with her new appearance will bring a new single titled Rage. The main point of the short film is sometimes it is cruel to be forcing ourselves to be happy. So put off your mask now and don't wait until you become another doll like Eri.